Hey guys, here we are, Mojo uh, Vlog, four stroke hard enduro number three, right here in Page, Arizona. Um, last one was out in Hawaii and it can't be any different, right? We're out, uh, out in the, uh, the desert, rock, sandstone. Last time we were in the forest, roots. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be different. I'm excited these uh, different spots we get to go. Get to see some cool new terrain. Um, had a nice 15 hour drive here and yeah, should be exciting. So uh, keep on following the adventure. We got some cool stuff uh, headed up for the next two days. But like, like, let's just go in the day. Okay. And then we can kind of like go through and make sure we're coordinated across the board. Hmm. And then. Yeah, dude, she's cherry. She's cherry, those things. I don't think a lot of people realize how great a shape she is in. Yeah, well, we, we made it here with a nice long drive from Grass Valley, but we we made it. Um, and yeah, nothing nothing too crazy. It was like, like 14 or 15-ish hours to get here. Got to the Airbnb last night. Got a good nice sleep. Now we're gonna get this spike situated. Yeah, but that custom exhaust is like five extra horsepower. It is, and we're actually saving weight too with oh, the, taking the carbon fiber off. That's yeah. even more. That's where we're going for here. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> that was a little excessive. It probably fell over at one time. Is that how a bike's supposed to sound? Yeah. A real bike? That's how, re yeah. None of these, these silly ting 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 bikes. Ting ting ting. Ready, right? So you can fire it up again. <laughs> traction but it was scary coming down was scarier this rear bit the rear tires like sliding like the feels like it's folding off <laughs> Okay, race one, here we are. We're, uh, we got two laps, we got four hours to do it. Um, we're on row five, we got a couple of the four strokes. It should be exciting, so uh, yeah, see how it goes. Let's go check them out. Alright. 
Anson Maloney with the four stroke class. He's gonna have to wait for a little bit. Little do these guys know that they got some company coming. We go, buddy. Uh, the radiator hose popped off. We're gonna. on yep how we do yeah it was good i finished it we had some bike issues in the middle it popped off radiator hose 
and just kind of had to deal with bottlenecks in the first lap. But my second lap, other than the radiator hose popping off, was pretty dang good. And uh, yeah, I, we don't really know for sure with adjusted time, but we're thinking right around 35th, 38th, around there. So uh, we'll see. Yeah, not too bad. Good, good warm up for tomorrow. Dude, nice job. Yeah, not too bad. Oh my god. Felt pretty good. Well, you did your two lo two loops and what two and a half, two and two, fifteen, two fifteen or less. Mikey said he finished. What did I say? 48 without adjusted time, so we think probably like 38 with adjusted time. Oh. Uh, which, dude, I sat in the first bottleneck for five, eight minutes. Where was that at? Just right on the other, on that mesa. Yeah. So like you came down the slick rock and then you turned and it was just fucking chaos. See, I, I couldn't hear the bike at all, but I could hear you talking. Really? Yeah, it was wild. I'm like, <laughs> it's like clear as day, I could hear you talking, but I couldn't hear the bike at oh, all. That's sick. It's so, it's funny because it was like opposite because two strokes like medium level of volume. Yeah. And four strokes, all the volume. All the volume. And then electric, zero <laughs> volume. <laughs> oh, it was wild. Did you have like any crashes? I had a couple little, like I, I tipped, tipped I, over once. I saw you tip over once. Yeah, yeah, but nothing like really bad. Like I felt like, I felt good. It was just a, uh, I lost too much time right off the bat in the beginning, and then having the radiator hose pop off right, we probably lost another five, six minutes. Just that there. hill with all the traffic. Yeah. You had a radiator hose pop off, I see. Yeah, I was getting a little frustrated, so I went to help him, and when I laid my bike down, a rock hit that lower radiator hose and just like slid it off. Oh, oh. And so it I was standing off. right there, and right when he walked away, I was like, poof, with water. Oh, really? Oh, but I had to dump Gatorade pretty much in my. Uh, rated or so. Are you gonna drain it? Yeah, yeah, my. Luckily, there's no sugar in it, so hopefully it didn't get all. So you're free. Yeah. It, well, it's like a, it's an <laughs> element packet, so it's pretty much like salt, magnesium, potassium, and that's it. So just salt water in there. That is Did you see any adventure bikes? No, just no. watching. On the start line. Oh, Did actually, I saw them. Sure they were still on the first shop. bottleneck. Make sure Evan's doing his When job. I came for my second lap. Was he doing it? Yeah. Oh, but we got a safety wire. Your peg. Yeah. Why is that? Almost is lost a foot peg again. Uh oh. Didn't have a cotter pin? The cotter pin, I think, broke off. Is this supposed to be like this? No, I need to put a bolt in that, too. <laughs> That's not supposed to break off at all. I probably scrunched a bolt off. I don't fuck with it. I was wondering don't where that piece went. Don't fuck with it, man. Don't fuck with it. <laughs> you're getting, you're putting a I must have done on. something pretty good because this part of my frame is bad. Really? See? It's all open there. Oh, yeah. Put a thrash in yeah, shit. She, cuz. She. We got off the first Mesa and into this bottleneck that was just like this. Everybody, all 30 and A just stuck on a hill. I'm like, well, I guess I'll chill hang out, out here bit. for a little bit. <laughs> it was better this time than like Hawaii. Hawaii was oh, yeah. awful. Man, it's 2024. We still got bottlenecks in Hardenboro. Right? Hardenboro? In Hardenboro? Come on. Uh, we are doing some foot bag modifications. I lost my cotter pin. So we're. Getting safety wire, hold it all together. Did you notice it was gone in the race? Yeah, I felt the foot peg started feeling kind of funny. So I looked down, and I could see the pin sticking up, so I just pushed it down, and then finally I put a zip tie. The zip tie, unfortunately, did not stay. But that's all we need. Uh, I had to put some hydration mix, some water and salt radiator because I lost a hose so we're putting some fresh stuff in there yeah um are these these are all functioning room locks yeah okay the old triple maybe we can take them out take one of them out we can yeah we whatever you guys are kind of unnecessary okay with this heart of a moose yeah this is the I this is the white triple this J jxa work today JXA was great today. Now we're gonna go. The hope is we get into the you know the main race tomorrow. So we got a little softer tire. I think that'll work. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be good. Very good, good choice. Tire, tire sense, eh? Whatever he says. I mean, especially like look how much. Look at that. That's incredible. Very good wear pattern. You are, you look hey, like you're. Wait. Let's, wait. No, I'm just let me push this. <laughs> and you push. This is the first time getting to run some good hard enduro suspension and it made a huge difference. Just so much more confidence in the front end of the bike. Uh, all the little stuff, the bike just, the front end just hooked up, held up. Like especially a lot of the sandstone, we're kind of running at an angle and has all these little whoops and kind of bumps in it. Um, so it was a great, good feeling in that. And uh, yeah, super happy. Stoked. Thanks Joel over 707 for getting me all
all set up with it and uh, excited to keep practicing and make some more changes and make this stuff even better. Day two, race two. Um, this one's just one lap, two hours. Similar course that we did yesterday, but with some bigger, nastier obstacles. So um, yeah, we'll get through it. Starting 42nd. Um, yeah, should be good. Oh my god. Should be good. Ryan's gonna be out here. Ah. <laughs> oh no. You have breakfast. You want half a breakfast sandwich? Yeah. It's a, hey dude, you could sell like catering out of that window. It's a food truck. Yeah. Ice cream truck. Ice cream. Thanks, Anthony. No problem. Thank you. If it's not good, you don't have to eat it, but it, but it was pretty good warm. Vincent. finished yet but oh, yeah. Um, yeah. finished it it did yeah, it in an did hour too. which was way faster than yesterday with harder obstacles so I was stoked on that and no, uh, no bottlenecks so pushed my way through yeah. kind of battled with the other four stroke dudes no, for a little bit um, that no, were no. in the A class it um, and yeah no, it was great too much fun how was it uh, I was waiting for the hard stuff I feel like it never came <laughs> passed a lot of guys but it didn't, didn't get passed so, yeah it felt good I had, I had two big 
over the bars. So I had to just drop my bike down that first one, yeah. but then the second one, kind of towards the end. Uh, also like in the crack? Yeah, you dropped into that crack. I dropped into it, and then uh, the other four star dude stopped, and I grabbed the front. And just, and just landed on top of him. It was, it was exciting. Out of control sketchy, but I rolled it out. Yeah, nice. It's all that matters, right? Got the bottom. Well, I'm just not built for downhills. I'm too short. <laughs> I can't get my weight far enough back. So, because I think because the ch the the chain got tight because there's so much ribbon. Look at that front sprocket. Oh, it's, it's getting worn. No, no, oh. it's not getting worn. There's there's teeth missing. Yeah, that's some definitely. Cool, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Homie has eight missing front sprockets. Seven, eight. Because yeah, we're going to Moab and then to Maryland, straight straight through. I'm trying to go to six days, so I gotta gotta drive all the way across the country again. <laughs> okay, guys, we are done here uh, with Grinding Stone. It was awesome. Um, I feel like it's the best one for me. It definitely felt like I was able to race the whole time. Um, ended up winning the four stroke class again, and uh, I think I was like 35th overall which I'm pretty happy with. There's some super fast people ahead of me. Um, and yeah, I had a, had a pretty decent race today. I had some issues, chain falling off, and then having some uh, ribbon and a couple little mistakes here and there. But um, honestly, yeah, best day of riding hard enduro for myself. So yeah, we're, uh, we're stoked. We're gonna keep this whole thing rolling. Hopefully you guys are enjoying following the whole four-stroke hard enduro thing, and uh, we're gonna keep this thing growing. And uh, yeah, off to Moab for the next one. So make sure you like and subscribe to these videos. And uh, yeah, we'll see you later.